Hello, everybody. Well, I'm trying to get some things done this morning, and it just, it's not working in my behalf today. It just isn't. I had to run, take some stuff I'd borrowed back, and uh, by the time I got back, I could hear the air compressor running out back, and I walked around there and checked, and the the uh, the belt had come off the air compressor. So I've had trouble with this thing, as y'all know, several times. The uh, belts throwed a few times and whatnot. And the pulley keeps moving on it, so uh, I'm I'm out here today and we're just gonna we're gonna take this pulley and we're gonna drill a couple extra holes in it we're gonna change it over to 5 sixteenths uh, set screws and see if we can't get this thing where it'll stay on here a little better because I keep having trouble with it and most of the time I don't I don't bother filming it, but since it's getting to be a everlasting part of my day, I figured what the heck. Now, there's already a quarter inch set screw there, and uh, we're fixing to remedy that problem by turning it into a five sixteenths. Uh, I'm just going to hand drill this one to start with and see if we can stop a hole in there. It looks like we can. We're just going to have to... It wants to get it. Eric got it. <laughs> I don't know whether I can just drill these or not. We're going to find out. A smaller bit to make it easier. Hopefully not too easy that it just railroads it in there like the other one did. I mean I could put it in a drill press but I'm not going to. might not be a long video today since I got to do this. I got a bunch of other stuff I was planning on doing before I started doing a little bit of filming, but since we've got this trouble, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't remedy it while we're here. Now, hopefully be able to drill them other two holes. If we ruin this pulley, we just ruined it. That's all I know. Now, if we ruin it, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and put the belt where it needs to be, and I'm going to drill a hole all the way through the shaft and drive spit being in it. Then it'll stay on there. <laughs> it won't have an option then. Trying to keep it where y'all can see, but I don't know if you can or not. So. That way, everybody can watch the dangerousness. Staying pretty well on center. We're just 
the shaft's got some wear in it. This pulley's got some wear in it. The shaft didn't have any wear, but this pulley caused some wear. We like never got this pulley off when the motor was bad. It, uh, it was rusted on there pretty good. It was on there pretty good. I know it's, it's cast iron, but I'm still gonna give it just a little bit of a little bit of this and that. See if we can't. Let's see. Let's see how bad this turns out. Got a little bit of air left, so we're trying to conserve it. There's one. Hey, everybody. Tommy's standing here. We got to we got to get everything going so we can get back to work. If I'd have had, I was going to use quarter inch set screws, but I didn't have any more, so we had 5 16 so that's what we're going to use. At least I'm pretty sure they're 5 16 Most of my set screws are standard, so I hope they're 5 16 If I ain't, we'll be running to the IGA to get some 5 16 set screws. Or just put bolts in it and leave them sticking out. Or swing around in every direction. Now, we got one, two, three. <laughs> I ain't gonna swear that I got them like a hundred percent exactly on, but nevertheless, three of these set screws will probably hold a whole lot better than one. That ain't gonna do it. That's the wrong Allen wrench. No. That ought to do it. Yeah. One thing about it, it'll be a lot, it'll be a lot tighter than it was. Maybe it'll stay with this on there. I can actually tighten it with this hex key versus the other one, which was totally like uh, too small on that. I think. I think I actually drilled that one to a quarter inch. I think it was smaller than that one I done it the first time. But anyway, y'all seen the belt we done last time. This is uh this is my other new belt, so uh I don't know where the other one went. It was gone. It went across the yard somewhere. I don't know where. The key. I think it actually bent the key a little bit. That's a, it's not a corner, I don't think. I don't know whether I got a key stock this size or not. Come on, measuring device. It says 190. Six is five millimeter. Is that what it used to be? That says one eighty eight. That says one eighty eight. Well, how in the world is that supposed to work? 
Oh. Apparently the key's like bigger than the slot, but it still fits in there. Makes no sense. That lays a burr on the end of my That key is smaller. Yep. I ain't no way that's gonna work. Nope. Not that one. I actually have to machine a piece of key stock. No, I'll probably just drive up and back in there. Well, that key is too small. Mm -hmm. Let me look in the magical cabinet, y'all. See if there's anything in the magic cabinet that's the right size. No other piece of key stock in here. I don't know where it's at now. There was one piece of that, that in that silver tray, Jeremy. Yeah. It was. I don't know if it still is or not. I've tried to use most of it. Can we look back here and look at things like this? I don't see any anywhere. Right now. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna go with this piece for now, and I'll just order a piece. One eighty-seven. That's probably what it is. Probably three sixteenths key. It's just boogered up a little bit on the sides. That side's wore down. That side's too tight. All right. We're going to see if we can find a piece of key. If we can't, we're going to put this back in there. I'll bring you back in a minute. Sorry, y'all. I had the camera set out here and forgot to turn it back on. We got the belt plop back on there. Just trying to get uh, trying to get a few things centered up. We're going to tighten all these set screws up, and I'm going to try to drive that key in just a little farther because it's like bent a little bit so it doesn't want to go in there it might just be in as far as it'll go I don't know but I'm trying to that must be as far as it'll go because it's it ain't going no more Then we're going to tighten the one up on the key last. Tight. We did find the old belt. It was down there about the lawnmower. Apparently it ran down across the yard. So uh, we stuck it back on there because, well, it's well versed in flying off and running across the yard. I've seen it do it. I actually watched it do it. Oh, mercy. Well, let's see what it does now. It looks like it's lined up, so. <laughs> We got the air compressor fixed, so uh, we're good to go on that for now. Uh, I had other things planned today, but since the air compressor gave trouble and we had to fix that, uh, I walked back around from, from that stuff coming in and uh, the mail lady had dropped off a package and it had the crank seals and stuff for this saw that I've been waiting on for good little while uh, 
I had trouble. The Duke didn't have the the seals, and he let me know, and I just had to get whole kits, and I was like, whatever, I need them fast enough to get them, and they come in today, so we're going to see if we can slap a crack seal in this side. I put one in the other side. When I put it together, but I did not have one for this side, and the other side looked like it might have been damp. This one didn't look like it was leaking, but I'm just not happy with it. So we're gonna we're gonna slap one in it right quick, and I figured y'all might want to watch. So we're gonna pull the little oiler out there. Y'all get over here sit next to me or something. Y'all can see a little better. That way, pull the oiler out, get it off there, and right there is the crack seal. And these crack seals are ceramic and they break. So, getting them out, the muffler's in y'all's way. I'm going to see if I can crack it out of there or what. I like to just chip on them and try to twist it and get it to come out, but sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. And it's looking like it ain't going to. So we're just going to see if we can't crack her out of there. Crack it out like an egg. Try to chip it away till it get down in there, and then it gets loose, and there you go. Now apparently I need a boat to stick in this oil hole because the oil's running out. So we got her out of there. The barn looks good, so we're gonna take and just blow it out just a little bit real light. In there, that seal. I just don't know about these seals. I don't know why in the world they made that seal like they did. But we're throwing it in the trash. And we're gonna get this is the only way he didn't have any seals. He had them like this, so I had to get them this way. It's like whatever, just as long as I can get one, that's all I care. Because I only needed one more seal to finish up the job. Now I gotta find something to drive it in there with. You need to make me a set of seal drivers. I think that 13 will do it. That would be better for the 916s. Yeah. We're gonna use a 916 for this for this one. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the, a little bit of oil around that seal. Make sure she's slickened. Make sure she's slickened. I'm going to try to work it in there. and I like to put them in at an angle and try to push over on them to plop the, the sealing ring up on the crank. Because if you're not careful and you just push it on there, the lip will roll out on the ledge and then it, it basically won't seal. It just it just ruins the seal. What are we doing here? Are we getting something? It actually fits in there real nice. 
there's a new crack seal in it. That fit in there good, 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 good. That fit in there real nice. Now, I don't know why it's so hard for y'all to see. But we're going to pull this screw out and we're going to slap her back together. I'm not going to really worry about running it right now. We're just going to get a slap back together because I got to uh, get back to some other things I was trying to get done before I had air compressor problems. And this saw already run good. It just had just a little bit of a, an air leak to it. And I know it had an air leak to it and I didn't like it and I wanted to change the crank seal. And I'll take it fired up here directly and see if I can't run it a little bit and make sure everything's good so I can get ready to put it in the shipping along with everything else. Because I have got a bunch of stuff to ship. So if you've been waiting on stuff, it's probably going to be getting in the mail pretty soon because I'm trying to get everything worked out. The shipping Shipping has been alleviated some, and we're actually getting packages now and not having stuff get lost like it was. So I'm going to try to start getting some things shipped out. Because I ain't kidding. We was, having, we was having some issues with stuff getting gone or getting lost. So better put your bit in there so I can put the screws in Just reversing the procedure and putting it back together. We get her cinched back in there. And put the pinion back in. Put the pinion back in, put the bearing back on. Put the clutch drum back on. Put the clutch back on. She'll fire up. Well, we might go ahead and crank it. Y'all have already seen this one cut. Because before you'd rev it up a time or two and it'd, it'd cut out and stuff like that. So uh, I think we're good now. All right, y'all. I gotta get this video up. Well, y'all don't know yet. The video will be up for time. I don't even know why I tell y'all that. <clears throat> I'm just, I talk to you like you're here. All right, y'all have a good day. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, tomorrow live at 5. Y'all have a good day. Bell Hopper out. <laughs>